What's going on YouTube? Brandon Lechuga here. Um, I have to take part my cluster because I'm thinking possibly about doing uh, new cluster lights. It's just the, the white. It's a uh, stock white. <clears throat> but I also am going to have to take out the cluster in order to remove the entire dash. I'm going to have to go over there and take apart the radio and everything to take out the dash. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know what I'm talking about and why to... Uh, as you can see down there, it's wrapped in suede. And I have to do the rest of it because of the screen stuff. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm just seeing how hard it's going to be to take apart the dash. Since it's rainy outside, you can see, so I can't really do the suede anyways. And uh, I might do some new lights, maybe green or something back there. So, I just wanted to make a quick video on how to remove the cluster on a Dodge Challenger. So, first you'll have to pop off your bottom panel down here underneath the cluster because there's a screw you're gonna have to remove and then the push start I just used the flat head to remove that and it just pops out just go on the side of it and you know just kind of pop it out and then I started at the bottom there's a tab right about here that's a clip that's holding it in you have a clip like right around in here and then you have another one right around in here on the bottom so what I did was I pried like let's see Oh, all popped off. So, as you can see, it's not it'll, it'll pop off pretty easy. But, so I pried down here, and I used the flat head to go around all the edges. And all of it, I did it on the top, and then I went around the side. So I just pretty much popped out the bottom sides first, the two bottom sides. And then I took the flat head, and then I went around the entire edge while pulling it slowly. And it just popped, it like pretty much just easily started popping out. So here's what it looks like. Um, here's the top view. You have a tab in the, the left side, the middle, and then the right. Here's the back side. That's where the push, push start goes. So you have one clip right there, clip on the bottom, and a clip on the side on the other side. So I'm not sure if I'm going to wrap this in suede. I might just leave it how it is. Um, we'll see when the time comes. So then on to the cluster. On the cluster, you're gonna have a screw down on the left corner, on the bottom. One on the left, like mid top. Exact same thing on the other side. One right there, one on the bottom. Um, I already removed those, so I'm gonna show you kind of how to take it out. So what I did is I flipped it like that, and then just pull at the bottom. And then it'll sit like that. And then once you get it to right there, you're gonna want to uh, flip it like this, and there will be a wire connect right here, and then two wire connections right there. Um, and the easiest way to get it out after you remove those is just to pull it out this way. Let me show you what I... So there's the two tabs wire tabs <clears throat> and then this is all one so here's the one and you'll just push down on the top of that plug it in and then here's the other two I try to just get them out of the way push down on the top right there push down on the top and then pull um, so from the looks of it it looks like in order to switch out the lights, you cannot just replace them with this kind of setup. Um, it looks like you actually have to probably get a kit and then probably have to tap into this wire setup and everything. So who knows, I might get that kit, maybe do it. This is just a video on how to remove the cluster. And like I said, for me, mainly, it's to see all the screws and everything that I'm going to have to remove in order to try to get this top plastic piece off, which is going to be a pain in the butt. Because again, you can see it's just ruined um, from that sticky stuff. So, anyways, this is a quick video on how to remove your cluster and a Dodge Challenger. Thank you. I hope you like this video. If you found it helpful, uh, please like it. Um, 
if you want to check out some of my other videos, how to maybe do suede or radio install or install a new shifter, check out some of my other videos. Um, again, this is Brandon Lechuga. Thank you. Have a good day.